Hi, my name is Sangha Lindsay. I'm a landscape architect here in North Vancouver, and it is uh, late, uh, early April actually in Vancouver, and I'm going to show you today how to prune a floribunda rose. Floribundas are typically those roses that are more bush-like as opposed to the hybrid teas. The hybrid teas are typically your uh, red roses, or they can be any color, but the, the very tight uh, flower that you get for, say, Valentine's Day. The floribundas tend to be the ones that look more like the peonies, very roughly, very multi-petaled, and very open. This here is a floribunda rose. In Vancouver, we often struggle with our roses because it is a bit wet and damp, and they're not exactly uh, conducive to growing roses. They like it uh, sunny, hot, dry, with just water at their base. So even though we didn't have a hard winter, you can see this one sort of came through the winter not too great. So this is one of the other reasons why uh, we need to uh, give it a good prune and try to resurrect it. So the trick with Floribunda roses are, and uh, unfortunately we won't get it on this one, is you want to leave seven canes on your roses. Say out east in Ontario, you typically get a very, very vigorous Floribunda. But a cane is what you, this is what you call a cane, this main central stalk here. And a very healthy Floribunda will have a multitude of them, like even 20 canes. So what you want to do is, you, the first thing is you want to uh, look at your rose and find any dead, dying, diseased wood. You always want to use a pair of secateurs that are clean and sterilized because roses do have diseases like black spot, powdery mildew. So you don't want to go from rose to rose spreading those diseases. So you look at your base of your plant or you look at the overall plant, you look at things like diseases or dieback, which there's a small cane there, as you can see, has some winter kill and or canes that also exhibit those kind of uh, symptoms. There's, for example, is a small lateral branch. It's not gonna do much, so we just prune that away. Um, so I'm just gonna go through. We only actually have one really good cane here. Like I said, we have very, very wet winter in Vancouver. I'm gonna get rid of the dead wood. I'm gonna pick my Theoretically, seven good canes and get rid of the rest. And then from our canes, what we want to do is we want to count seven buds up. So, for example, this is what you'd call a bud here. Here's some emerging buds right in here. So, anytime you see sort of a little incision, it looks like a little seam, that's where a bud will come out. Not all the buds have come out on this rose yet, so I'm looking for the different seams. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna maybe cut her back just a little bit harder. In fact, I'm gonna go to five, just because this rose really needs a fighting chance. But on a really good vigorous rose, you'd have stems up to here, you'd have easily seven buds. So you wanna cut to the seventh, the top of the seventh bud just above where your new leaves are going to emerge. And that is how you prune a Floribunda rose. Typically you want to do it early spring at this level just before the leaves emerge. And in Ontario or in colder climates you would actually, not here, you would actually mound up your roses with dirt as well in the fall and then you would uncover them as part of your process of pruning and preparing your roses for the new flowering season. My name is Sangha Lindsay. Hope you learned a little bit about Floribunda roses. If you want any more information on that, edible gardens, we keep bees, please visit my website at www.sangadesigns.com. Thanks for watching.